In this video, I tried Bridge Duels. Now, Bridge Duels is a mode I've just never really gotten into in the past. It's a great mode for a couple reasons that I'll get into during the video. I've never really made videos on Bridge in the past, but I really do hope you guys enjoy this one regardless. If you do end up enjoying today's video, even if you could just consider subscribing, that would be absolutely awesome. But yeah, let's get right into the video. When I say I haven't played that much Bridge, I mean I'm like Iron 1 or Iron 2 in Bridge overall. Die. Oh my gosh. Bridge is a fun mode. I just haven't done it a lot because it's very hard to commentate. Go, 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 That should be a goal. Oh my gosh, I like walked so far forward. He might have been able to kill me there. The reason I just never played much bridge on the channel is not because I don't enjoy it, but there's a couple of things that make it hard to film. First of all, there's people in this mode that are trying with every ounce of their dying breath to get a win. Like, I don't man, I don't know, man. They can have the win. I don't really care. I'm not too competitive about stats, you know what I mean? Another big reason is that there's just so much going on. Like, apart from like playing sweaty players, even when you're just playing normally there's so many different things happening like all at once they have to kind of take into consideration like people's hippos wings whether or not they clutched if you're gonna beat the guy to run to the other end like we're, what we're doing right now stuff like that all really goes into this mode and it makes it quite interesting to play it also means you have to concentrate a lot which takes away a lot of your which takes away a lot of your commentary focus. I do enjoy this mode and I would definitely do like a series out of it or something, but I'm just really not an expert at it. I'd say my PvP mechanics are decent enough to the point where I kind of know how to fight people in this mode, but I just don't have the game sense, you know? I can't kind of comprehend certain things and I find it very difficult in certain situations when I start losing to actually bring myself back into the advantage. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, we got an early goal. This guy does have a better hippo setup than me, so I might need to fix mine up a little bit. I'm already creating a wing right here, which is gonna help me out in a bit. He's contesting going across, so I think we just- I think we can beat him here. Nice. Oh, never mind. He was very close. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, I was like half a second away from actually getting in. I'm already noticing what I was kind of saying in the first game. Commentary is just so difficult in this mode. Like, even though I'm not really sweating, I have to concentrate more and more. Go, go, go. Can I get in? Oh, that was so close. The second I fight someone that actually has, like, a small little clue what the heck they're doing in this mode, it's just over for my commentary. These, like, because I'm, I'm just distracted at all times trying to figure out what the next move is. I'm holding a pressure on this guy right now. I don't really know if he knows I'm here. I'm a little wary of a sudden comeback because this guy seems like he knows enough about what he's doing. Okay, wait. Oh. Die. Die. Okay, we're good. Alright. Oh, he left. Alright. This guy looks like the most intimidating figure, man. I'm terrified. Oh no. He says I'm bad. This man's like godlike, I swear. He's got he's got the skin on. He's got the okay, you know what? Uh Ah! I almost fell! Oh my. <laughs> oh my, okay, okay, okay. Pretend that didn't happen. I was just kind of trying to see what the heck that guy was doing. Go, go, go. Boing. I'm thinking in the future of using drag clicking more and more and doing like bridges and clutches in the bridge. I think those would make for very entertaining videos. And also, just in general, I really do think this mode has a lot of opportunity for videos to be made. Once people become sweaty at Bridge, they often don't play Bed Wars anymore, man, and I like Bed Wars, so I don't really want to mess with that. So, I don't know, I don't think I'll ever get too, too sweaty at this mode, but it is very fun and I'd like to kind of expand a little bit. I think we can just score here, honestly. Yeah. GG. Another reason I enjoy Bridge is just because all the maps are actually quite different. Like, you'd think it'd be very, very repetitive because the idea remains the same, and you'd think it'd be all cosmetic. But it's actually not. It's actually quite a lot of different techniques that have to go on in the map. There's a lot of different things you have to kind of take into consideration. On this map, there's a hole I can go to right under my feet so I can kind of run in and I can also use that to score on my opponent. But on a lot of maps that doesn't exist, the max heights are all different in consideration to the actual islands that you're running to for this map. You can see max height, I'm like barely like above like this main area. Like there's still like a lot higher you can go on the map that you can't bridge to. Alright, this guy is here again. I don't think this guy really knows too much of what he's doing. I feel a little bad. Let me have him knock me off. See if I can clutch. Okay, you know what that means. 
Okay, that guy did die there, right? Jump over here. Fake bow shot. Woo! That was kind of clean. That was kind of clean. Bridge mechanics are so strange to me because if you can get like a good tunnel or something on your opponent, it's basically over for them. I don't care if you're winning like four to zero. If they get a tunnel on you, you're, you've are you already lost and you should just like slash L. I don't think this will ever be a mode I try to go for like big win streaks in. As you can see, oh. Boop. <laughs> GG. I don't think this will ever be a mode I go for like massive win streaks in. I think my best win streak, let's see on the side, it's 13, so it's nothing crazy. The reason I don't think I'll go for win streaks in this mode is just kind of the same as Bed Wars because every once in a while you queue a really good player and there's nothing wrong with people that are good, but I just don't enjoy having to try super hard for 10 minutes straight to beat someone good. The reason I enjoy playing games like Classic and UHC duels is because even if you queue someone better than you, your fight's gonna be over within a matter of minutes. Like, it's not gonna last very long, and if they're better than you, that's that. But in games like Bridge, they can last several minutes, regardless of how good you are. This mode just has the ability to get me, like, very, very angry at people who know what they're doing, because I'll spend, like, 15 minutes straight battling for my life with a three-goal lead, and all of a sudden lose it all because someone's better than me. There's nothing wrong with them being better than me, but it just, it's just, it's very inconvenient to spend 15 whole minutes just to lose tragically, you know? That's another reason I wasn't huge on Bed Wars to begin with, so maybe who knows, it might grow on me, but for a long time I only really played Sky Wars in duels. And the reason for this is the exact same, it's that I just couldn't play Bed Wars because it took so long and I wasn't very good, so it would take me like... I don't know, six or seven games to get like two or three wins, which was not very convenient for recording because obviously I wasn't like available to like just sit there for like 12 hours all day playing like Bed Wars. So I kind of had to pick and choose what I made because I didn't want my whole day to be taken up recording certain things. Okay, can I beat this guy here? I feel like I can. Okay, he voided. Yeah, I beat him. GG. How did he actually kill me? Okay, maybe this guy's not that bad at PvP. Oh, what did I just do? What did I just jump to? What? I actually just whiffed out of my mind. Oh my. That guy was a good testament to someone I feel I could confidently be a while from now, but just with my current game sense of this mode, I'm not very good at beating a player like that, because that guy knew what he was doing, and he also clicked so fast. Do you see his right click? What's this guy doing? What does he want? Why did I drop down and he just starts trying to team with me? I mean, it's a 1v1, man. I don't, I don't know how teaming's gonna benefit you, but uh... What's this guy doing? He said GG. If I score, is he just gonna slash L? Is he leaving? I don't know why he said GG, I just started playing. I'm honestly not sweating that much right now, because I don't enjoy sweating in bridge. If I see sweat in bridge and I lose, it triggers something primal inside of me, man, you know? Like, I, I am I am angry to the core. If I start sweating in bridge and I lose, I care so deeply all of a sudden. I'm like an iron, but for some reason I care, you know? All right, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I really, really, really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I want to say thank you so, so much for all the support recently. It means the absolute world to me. But if you are new here, please consider subscribing and joining the Discord server down below. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. So thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.